Farm Manager Series on Discriminatory and Sexual Harassment Laws. Workplace discriminatory harassment and sexual harassment are illegal in every state. This training will provide methods to prevent forms of harassment or to identify and handle it if it occurs. I'm Pat McCabe and I'll be taking you through this training. You can protect your business by promoting a work environment free of sexually inappropriate behavior, making sure your workers know what types of behavior is expected of them, providing resources and support to all of your workers, and knowing your state's laws. For example, Vermont enacted a new sexual harassment law in July 2018 that includes protections for all workers, including non-employees, volunteers, interns, and independent contractors. You can also protect your business by posting and updating all mandatory employment law posters. Check your State Department of Labor's website. For example, there are two on the screen for Vermont and New Hampshire. Also look at the U.S. Department of Labor's website for additional information. Forms of sexual harassment that are prohibited by law include unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sex, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature when submission is explicitly or implicitly a term or condition of work, when submission to or rejection of the harassing conduct is the basis of work-related decisions, when the harassing conduct interferes with the person's work performance or creates an intimidating, hostile, or offensive work environment. Someone who files a complaint or participates in an investigation of a complaint of harassment cannot be retaliated against in any way. Please note that in Vermont, every supervisor is responsible to report a complaint or any suspicion of harassment to their employer. Each employer is obligated to investigate and handle incidents of harassment by taking appropriate action. What's considered harassment? Unwelcome sexual advances, suggestive or lewd remarks, unwanted hugs, touches, kisses, requests for sexual favors, pornographic posters, cartoons, or drawings shown in the workplace, and unwelcome sexual jokes or banter. Remember, it's not your interpretation as the employer about the behavior that matters. It's the interpretation of the victim. Things that may seem harmless or just good fun to you may be interpreted very differently by the employee. The best practice is to clearly have a zero tolerance policy for any kind of harassing behaviors. Any form of discrimination by an employer is illegal. In most states, employees may not be discriminated against on the basis of age, race, sex, pregnancy status, color, religion, marital status, gender identity or sexual orientation, national origin, or physical or mental ability. In New Hampshire, the laws apply to all private employers with six or more employees. In Vermont, the Fair Employment Practices Act covers all public and private employers in the state. If you're viewing this recording and you live in another state, please go to your state's Department of Labor website to find the laws that apply in your state. Create a positive workplace culture. Use the free posters and post them in your office where everyone can see them. Openly state your position when minor incidents occur. For example, I don't want to hear any jokes like that on this farm. Let's not have any dirty language or racist comments here. Hey, that kind of comment is unacceptable. This can set a tone for your workers so that they understand what's allowed and what won't be tolerated. Be sure to include a section about your expectations for your employee orientation and reinforce the message throughout the season. Discuss problem behaviors with those who participated as soon as it happens. In private, talk separately with the person behaving questionably and with the person on the receiving end of the behavior. Ask each of them what happened and state that inappropriate behavior is unacceptable. 
follow up as needed. Assure your staff that you want to know about any inappropriate behaviors. Repeated inappropriate comments or a single incident of sexual harassment can be grounds for termination of employment. And that's the end of the lesson.